Well, I, I am a native of South Carolina, and I grew up in Greenville County. At the time I came through school, you pretty much uh, stopped having any kind of art activities at grade six. So I really still wonder sometimes how I ended up wanting to major in art. I didn't know any artist, but I knew that I loved making things. I always wanted to know how to knit. I always wanted to know how to crochet. I always wanted to know all these operations. And I think I still do what I do because I like the activity of creating something. And I am a little bit of a generalist, which some people might frown on. But what that means is I like to learn new things. I like to understand how a material behaves. I like to investigate what a material or medium potential is. Um, not just what we know it can do, but what can I make it do. I was thinking the other day about this thing of mark making, and I wish I had written down the list that I came up with, <clears throat> thinking in terms of mark making in nature because in nature you have tracks, you have piles, you have accidents of crisscrossing, you have things that scurry around, you have wind and water, and just all these things that create some kind of residue and a kind of history of something that has happened. And they're often very beautiful kinds of things that uh, only Mother Nature, you know, had a hand in. I, I very seldom begin a piece with a quote-unquote subject in mind. A lot of my work is very structured. They often look like rooms to me or some kind of landscape environment. And the, the landscape is not necessarily the landscape outside. It can be a mental landscape or an emotional landscape. There's a tone to it that I think reads as a setting. Something is happening. There are interactions going on between the different elements in the piece. It's not something that I sit down and have to think about. That is just the way I organize things and that's how it comes out. And I'm aware of it, but I try not to be too self-conscious about it.